You'd think that the Nike Air Max 90 reverse duck camo was a pretty simple shoe. Here's the duck camo, reverse it. We're done, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, there are some things about this sneaker that I, you know, might be pretty obvious to people out there, but I didn't get. I thought they were gonna reverse the duck camo because they're called the reverse duck camo. They didn't. What they reversed was everything except the duck camo, and the duck camo is the one thing that stays the same between the OG and this upcoming release for the 30th anniversary of the Nike Air Max 90s. Uh, so they're reversing the colorway, but not the duck camo, but also they've changed out some really important materials on them from the originals uh, to this upcoming release. And what you may not know, and I would go ahead and guess that nine out of 10 people do not know, is they've taken off one of the most important features of the shoe and they haven't really told anyone. And today, that's what we're gonna have a look at as we look at the Nike Air Max 90 Reverse Duck Camo. This is a Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. This my new chip on day. My new chip media aside. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what we're looking at is the upcoming release of the Nike Air Max 90 Reverse Duck Camo. And it's kind of like spot the difference where you have to look at the originals and then you have to look at this upcoming release and see where they've made the changes. And of course, like I said at the top of the video, that the Duck Camo itself is not changed and the detailing, the color, and the placement of that duck camel stays pretty much in the same place. But they have changed some pretty important things on there. Now, I said at the top of this video, and I maybe could drag this out and sort of play with it, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go straight to the point. I said that they've changed some important materials and they've dropped something off. So instead of leaving that to the end of the video and try and get you guys to watch for as long as possible, why don't I put it in right at the beginning? Uh, the things that they've changed, the materials that they've changed that I'm not so sure is a good idea on, is that on the originals, which hopefully you can see behind me here, that the panels, which they've changed from black to red were suede and then when you look at the new ones you can see that those panels for example on the toe box are now red but instead of being suede they're mesh and that's a big change the the suede on the original duck camels uh, was one of the main points on it but for that quality and that beautiful touch um, now that brings me to another point before I get to another point, uh, that the originals were a collaboration with Atmos, but nowhere on these new ones have I seen anything connected to Atmos. I might be wrong, I might just not have noticed. So if you know if whether or not these new reverse duck camels do retain that Atmos sort of collaboration, or if they've lost that, please let me know. And also, I couldn't find anywhere on the original ones where they actually said Atmos, like for example, on the tongue branding, or on the insole, or the outsole, or a little tag or something that said Atmos, which is the sneaker company that collaborated with Nike to make the original duck camels. And then again, here, I don't know if the new ones are a collaboration and if they are, I can't find anywhere where they shout that collaboration out on the sneaker itself. So if you know those things, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yes, the first thing I was talking about was that they switched out that black suede for red mesh. It might be something to do with how difficult it is to get red suede or something like that. Uh, or it might be a cost cutting exercise, I do not know, but black suede for sure is a, a nicer feature on a sneaker than red mesh or any suede as nice as any mesh, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but then the other thing, the other main thing that they've dropped off of these sneakers, uh, and I don't think people will notice until they notice kind of thing. Uh, it's a bit like FedEx. Let me put FedEx behind me here right now. And there's a hidden thing in the middle of FedEx uh, that maybe not everybody knows about. But once you see it, you're like, I can't stop seeing that. Uh, and what it is, is between the word Fed and X, they've designed a little arrow in there. So can you see that? Maybe it's maybe it's up here. I'll try and make it up here so you can focus in on the arrow between the words fed and X uh, to kind of dis sort of distinguish or point to like movement or action or whatever. Uh, but once you've seen that arrow in FedEx, you can't stop seeing it. And you can't remember what it looked like before, before you knew it was there. And you're like, ah, oh, I can't stop seeing that. Uh, and this, this thing I'm about to tell you about these Air Max 90 reverse duck camels, you won't be able to stop seeing it once I've told you that they've taken the duck camel off 
one of the most important places on the sneaker. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like they've done anything to the duck camels throughout the rest of the sneaker. Um, and it seems like you know just a quick glance, you're like, oh, the duck camels there, yay! Uh, the tongue, uh, you know, the upper, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but then if you look at the bottom of the lacing system, you see right down at the bottom there where it had duck camel on the OGs. That's now been traded out, uh, and I I think that's maybe. Uh, mm, it's, it's a feature that people are actually going to be like, you know, why? More more than I don't like it, you know, it's just one little piece of duck camo, it's not that big deal. Uh, but I think people are going to ask the question, why? Why would you not put it there? What is the, the reason for Nike to take off that piece of duck camo? And the only reason I could possibly think of is for finances to make it a cheaper shoe to make, which is really disappointing. Uh, but maybe somebody out there knows differently to me that there is a, a structural reason or uh, maybe the OGs like that particular piece of duck camel material there got creased quite badly or cracked a lot so they decided not to go with it there uh, on the the upcoming release so uh, I don't know I mean people out there might know better than I so please let me know in the comments down below if you do know uh, but they're the two main features of, of change uh, that anybody interested in these sneakers should know about there are but there are other elements of change in there as well which are also worth looking at and particularly, I want to look through three in one, which is the tongue branding, the uh, midfoot window, and then the heel branding, which has kind of been reversed. This is a really easy way to look at that reverse. Um, and you look at the OG ones, which on the tongue had that white square with the, um, the red branding on it. And then if you look to the new ones, it's now a red square with white branding. Uh, then if you go to the midfoot, it's slightly different because on the original ones, it was just a red window. But now we've got a black window and red detailing. On the originals, it wasn't a red window with black detailing that's been reversed to a black window and red detailing. It was a red window and red detailing, but now it's a black window and they keep the red detailing, which is nice. I think it's an upgrade uh, on the original ones and it really helps pop that piece of detailing on there. Uh, and then if you go to the back, it is a, a straight reverse from the original ones uh, to this updated version. So that's a very much a reverse element going on there. We already talked about the mesh that's been brought into the toe box and I think I mentioned the top line hopefully I did mention the top line the collar up there around the top of these guys being in that red mesh as opposed to black suede uh, but also if you look at the the lacing system and the eyelets uh, down there the, the the length of the lacing system that they've been flipped out from their original red and now into the black so it's very much the colorway other than the duck camo that's been reversed. The duck camo itself is staying the same. It's in mostly the same positions. Um, I was expecting to see some kind of color reversal on the duck camo itself. So um, instead of it being like, you know, greens and browns that they, you know, reversed it out into say blacks and whites, a kind of uh, monochrome effect, for example. So so that's kind of where I was expecting these guys to go when I read the, you know, the title, the name of the sneaker, and I knew about the original Atmos collaboration with the duck camos. Uh, so I was a bit surprised to see that the, the, the camo itself stayed pretty much the same in mostly the same places, except that one very important part at the bottom of the leasing system. And the changes come in the rest of the colorway where the reds and the blacks have swapped places in uh, most cases, but with a few slight little changes, like I said, with that midfoot window on the side, which I do think is an upgrade. Another place where I think it's an upgrade is that originally I think there was a black outsole, um, all black. Um, and what they've done is instead of changing that to all red, which would kind of match the motif of the sneaker, what they've done is they've made it a black and red outsole. So you've got a bit more character and a bit more color in there. Um, and uh, and I, I think that is a good upgrade. And I think that is a good addition to this sneaker. So uh, so I think that's pretty much everything there is. Uh, this change between the two and this spot, the difference. Nike Air Max 90 uh, reverse duck camos to see the originals uh, up against this latest one that's coming down the line. I'm going to be dropping real soon. Like like I said at the start, please do let me know if uh, you know more about the Atmos side of things because I haven't been able to find out, but being here in Tokyo, Japan and Atmos being you know a Japanese brand, it would be good to know those kind of things. So please do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also being here in Tokyo, Japan, I have been going live about the coronavirus and I don't like to bring that into my sneaker videos, but I do um, you know do this live show every morning to talk about what it's like here and how that's affecting things. And there's a, a playlist to all those. So boing, there's that playlist if you want to check out um, 
what that's like uh, in uh, what life's like here right now under this coronavirus situation. Uh, and also the last thing I do is at the end of every one of these videos, I, I throw up a link to a playlist full of the rarest sneakers in the world, um, in hand samples, uh, stereo, what are they called? Not stereotypes. Um, what do they call when there's this first one? Oh, that's gonna bug me now. Not stereotypes, prototypes. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, player exclusives, all that kind of stuff. Some of the rarest sneakers in the world. So, uh, and by throwing that up, if you click on it, it brings up a menu of all the links, including that playlist, and you can choose which one of my videos to watch next. So here's the link to that. Uh, for now, though, it's time for me to sign off. Um, and thank you guys for checking out my content. But, <coughs> oh, I nearly choked. But uh, because I do do this every single day, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.